Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well time needed the body. Just unable to quite find that range. Not there. Ooh, big shot lands. Looking for that left hand. Not there. We need more punches. 
Just missing on the high kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Very tricky. He can close that body. Back and forth we go here. Head kick. That's a miss. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. Oh! Nice loose punch. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Right hook to the head block. Kick to the body, but he missed. Oh, where is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. He blocks the punch. Try to establish that jab. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Second round, straight ahead. Oh, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. Too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. How good is that right hand? 
Ali gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he has landed some good. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Blocks the shot. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Throws the right hand there. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. And now he's got that tight clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. There, huge block. Dig, 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 dig. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. How about that shin? Misses with that one. Good night if that landed. And an outside leg kick lands. <laughs> oh, hook to the head by Lee. Another strike to the head land. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice right hand. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. 20 seconds to go round two. Final seconds here of round two. A head kick like this. That is such a tough one to even be on his feet right now. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Where did 
Check the high kick. Digging kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Lee gets caught with that punch. Perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement for that other guy. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Ah. Big head kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch landed with so much power. <laughs> Misses with the left hook. Just over three minutes to go. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. range with that kick attempt. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Don't wait. You hit him first. Straight punch lands. Ability of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Liver kick. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. A beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Went for the inside leg kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice one-two there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. That was a thudding leg kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. 
real quick leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice. He's getting better with the All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Nice head kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Lock that kick to the body. Out of range with that one. Slips. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was high, and now he's got him hurt bad. What a body kick. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Just missed with the leg kick. Big kick land. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Lands the right hand. Good. Right. Ooh, blocks the shot. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's going after the head. Right at this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on him. Lee's kick is blocked. <laughs> nice leg kick land. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Good stick. Look at him working. 
trying to shut the liver down. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Slips the shot. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. What a round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Yeah! Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice one two there. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Huge block there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, so he lands another punch there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, two seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bazooka! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.